Hey guys, and welcome to the introduction to texturing in Blender. What is texturing? Well, a texture is basically an image or a pattern of some sort that is projected onto your material. So for example, a texture for a wall could be the image of a plaster or brick texture, depending on what you're looking for. And that texture will be projected onto your material, which is then projected onto your mesh, and then can be used in a lot of different ways to generate a more interesting and detailed material for your object. So most of the time, texturing is gonna be done through images, photographs, or painted textures. You're gonna have, for example, a picture of wood that somebody took of an actual plank of wood that you can then project onto your material. Now, the way you texture something, it can be either a single texture that is, for, for example, a poster that you just put on there, uh, and it just works one for one. You might need to repeat the texture over the course of the entire material, which means it would have to be seamless and tileable, which means it can be tiled. And um, in those cases, texture files are typically manipulated in a way where it's perfectly seamless, which means that whenever it repeats, it doesn't look like two images next to each other. It looks like it blends perfectly. So you want to make sure you know what kind of texture you want for your material. Um, a couple other things you might want to know about texturing uh, that we'll talk about in the next few videos is UV mapping, which is when you take a 3D object and sort of peel its surface apart and flatten it into a 2D image. Once you get that 2D representation of your 3D object, then you can map your textures onto every face and polygon of your 3D mesh. There's a few examples here on the screen, but UV unwrapping and UV mapping are going to be in the next video. And we'll also talk about generated textures, which is different from image textures. Generated textures are specifically textures that were not photographs originally, but rather generated via an algorithm of some sort. Noise textures are a good example. Typically, you'll just have a bunch of noise in the texture, and it's totally seamless, totally generated. Um, then you'll have other generated materials like stripes, for example, that Blender can essentially create for you. So generated textures are very, very helpful and are technically more flexible than image textures because image textures are just what you see is what you get. So yeah, that's it for the introduction to texturing. We'll go more in detail in the next few videos. So I'll see you guys there.